Then, over hundreds of millions of years, Pangaea had split apart and its jigsaw pieces had drifted to their present locations. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're discussing theories that are considered common knowledge now, but were once considered extremely ridiculous. And if someone watched you travel close to a black hole, they'd see time for you slow down dramatically. Number 10, quantum tunneling. So it turns out the electromagnetic repulsion, the two positive charges, you can sort of get them closer and closer if you speed them up by increasing the temperature of the plasma. The quantum world is remarkably different from our own. We apply Newtonian physics to human scales to describe it. On much smaller scales, we need quantum physics instead, with Newton's laws breaking down. One of the most peculiar phenomenon on quantum scales is quantum tunneling, in which a particle passes through a barrier in a way that shouldn't be possible. A particle has an extremely small chance of tunneling through a barrier, which usually wouldn't happen. But because there are so many particles, a significant quantity can tunnel through. It's tough to wrap your head around, but it's beyond proven at this point. Additionally, it's the reason why we're struggling to make computers more efficient, a dilemma that quantum computing could solve. The equations of quantum mechanics would help engineers design microscopic switches that direct the flow of tiny electrons and control virtually every one of today's computers, digital cameras, and telephones. Number nine, atoms are mostly empty space. Scientists were shocked to discover that the atom is almost entirely empty space. The question then became, how could this empty atom possibly make the solid world around us? The void is an ancient Greek concept holding that the universe is made of atoms moving through a necessary empty space. More than 2,000 years later, it was proven correct. Just ignore the blunder years when we thought atoms were like a plum pudding. Common sense tells us there's nothing there. But quantum physics tells us there's only nothing there on average. And it's those two words, on average, that force us to rethink our understanding of reality. Lord Rutherford shut that down in 1911 when he discovered the nucleus. Hence, if an atom were the size of a football pitch, the nucleus would be the size of a pea, with even smaller electrons flying around. Well, that's if you misunderstand the concept of electrons, which are better described as probability clouds. So it's not truly empty, that's an oversimplification. It's filled with fields and forces, but it's less solid than we thought previously. We were able to walk without falling through into more nothing, but the surface itself is also nothing. Number eight, heliocentrism. Your Holiness, Copernicus's new book says the Earth revolves around the sun. Who cares? I'm trying to figure out the miracle of how Jesus turned water into wine. The idea that the sun is the center of the solar system was first proposed in the fifth century BC by the Greeks, of course. It then fell from favor for centuries until Renaissance mathematician and science legend Copernicus revitalized the idea. It was considered a heretical idea since Christians were convinced that the Earth was at the center. The church, along with almost everyone else, took the common sense view that the Earth did not move. It was solid and stable. And it was down here. And heaven was up there. This idea was a tough one to believe since the orbits of stars and planets made close to no sense. Placing the sun at the center solved these issues and is now considered common sense. But once upon a time, you could be executed for believing in heliocentrism. When Copernicus put the planets going around the sun, he discovered that the planet Mercury, which goes around in about three months, automatically fell closest to the sun. Number seven, the expanding universe. Even though scientists are baffled, they know this thing called dark energy makes up 70% of what's out there in the cosmos. It's hypothesized that the universe will end with all particles drifting an infinite distance away from each other. This is called the heat death of the universe, wherein all cosmic structures no longer exist. Three major hypotheses for the universe's end were initially proposed, with the other two being the Big Crunch and the Big Rip. Observations of the universe's expansion suggested that these two scenarios were implausible, an idea so wild even Einstein resisted it initially, now it's been proven by all our observations. Hubble demonstrated that there's more to the universe than our own galaxy. He extended the reach of our senses further than we could have imagined. 
We still don't know why the universe is expanding, which is why we conceived of dark energy to drive expansion. The leading model for its origin is the Big Bang Theory, but with equally viable alternatives, don't consider it an absolute truth. And it's a possibility that eventually the expansion will get strong enough to rip apart atoms, to rip apart our very bodies. Number six, gravitational time dilation. Just as we think of all of space as being out there, we should think of all of time as being out there too. The idea that time passes differently depending on your velocity is already crazy, but it gets even wilder when gravity is thrown in. Originally proposed in Einstein's theory of relativity, it's since been suggested by all tests we've tried. One fascinating effect is that the Earth's core is roughly 2.5 years younger than its surface. It sounds like sci-fi, but it's totally real, measurable, and a major pain when deploying GPS satellites. You once told me that when you came back, we might be the same age. And today I'm the age you were when you left. It means time is passing slightly slower for your feet than your head, or the reverse if you're in Australia. Black holes take it to the extreme, slowing time down so much an outside observer will see someone freeze as they fall in. But if you could travel to a black hole, the effect of gravity on time would be huge. Number five, quantum entanglement. The discovery of quantum mechanics has revealed a reality, our reality, that's both shocking and thrilling, bringing us that much closer to fully understanding the fabric of the cosmos. Also known as spooky action at a distance, this theory is so ridiculous, Einstein hated it. He proposed the idea that nothing can travel faster than light, imposing it upon reality like a grouchy traffic warden. Well, too bad for him. It's been proven more than once. The theory says particles can become entangled with one another, turning them into a shared system even when separated by huge distances. It goes against all basics of classical mechanics, but it's real. So what's the underlying cause? It's anyone's guess. Could be magic for all we know. This may sound far-fetched, but an impressive array of theoretical physicists believe it's the way the microscopic world works. Number four, mass energy equivalence. E equals mc squared is so remarkable that even Einstein wasn't sure if it was really true. Most people know Einstein's famous equation, E equals mc squared, but fewer understand its implications. It says mass can be converted into energy and vice versa. The theory is that mass is stored energy, the underlying principle behind nuclear power. He has heart palpitations and he suddenly realized, oh my God, the theory is correct. In nuclear fission and fusion, tiny differences in mass result in a huge release of energy. Before Einstein, the consensus was that mass and energy were entirely separate. We had concepts like kinetic energy, thermal energy, etc., with mass being simply a fixed property. Then Einstein showed they're two sides of the same coin. It's just one of many ways Einstein revolutionized modern science. This insight would open the door to a mysterious world that had been beyond the reach of science. The world that contained the secrets of the universe. The world of the subatomic. Number three, continental drift. The continent ruptures into several smaller pieces. These bits of land sail across the earth. This was once considered a fringe science, so wild it was often mocked by peers. Now it's a basic concept in geology, alongside the topic of tectonic plates. The theory suggests that the Earth's surface is made out of tectonic plates, which slowly shift, causing things like mountains and earthquakes. He realized that all the continents in the world had once formed a giant single landmass that he called Pangaea, from the Greek Pangaea, meaning all Earth. Alfred Wegener was the pioneer of this concept, proposed in a paper in 1912. It took decades for it to be accepted, with most researchers considering it to be ludicrous. Wegener died in 1930, unfortunately not living long enough to see his theory become embraced in the 1950s. The ocean ridges mark the sites where ancient land masses broke up. As the rift started, under tension acting at right angles to the ridge, the two continents moved away from each other. Number two, germ theory of disease. Even the most powerful optical microscopes could only magnify objects 2,000 times. 
they revealed a watery world of bacteria and single-celled creatures. You'll have a hard time finding people who aren't disgusted by things like spitting on the floor. A couple of centuries ago, few would have batted an eye. That's because the idea of germs spreading diseases was entirely alien. Before, people thought diseases came from bad air or even things like sin and curses. When will we know what this is? What causes it? What cures it? Things that keep people calm. Therefore, doctors would go from autopsy to childbirth without washing their hands. When someone came along and said it was tiny, invisible things infecting us, it sounded totally insane. Pioneers like Ignis Semmelweis proved hand washing drastically reduces deaths during childbirth, but his contemporaries ridiculed him. He even died in an asylum long before his ideas became widely understood. But some scientists believe that these living things could appear spontaneously, as if from nowhere. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications. Number 1. Darwinism Darwin began to see the history of life as a vast family tree. Life began millions of years ago at the base of the tree, and as time went by, our ancestors evolved. Charles Darwin is a scientist so respected that his face is on British banknotes. Before he came along, people believed species were created as they are. As we now know, all life is connected through common descent, and species change through natural selection. While this idea was revolutionary, it was also widely offensive, making people initially furious. A tree of life. Each new species springs from the parent tree, like a shoot. There are mountains of evidence supporting it, but Darwin had none of that in his lifetime. Even today, the theory is still banned or challenged by some. That's because it threatens deeply held beliefs about human uniqueness, but it's been rock solid for decades now. So much of modern science rests on evolutionary theory, making it one of the most significant ideas in history. On the Origin of Species became one of the most influential books ever published. It was an instant sensation that signaled the birth of modern biology. Are there any currently unconfirmed theories you're hoping will someday be proven? Leave them in the comments section. It is a simple, crude sketch, but Darwin's drawing is a radical new picture of life.